Okay, I finally set these lights up and they look pretty darn good. Hey guys, it's Stony W and I'm going to do a review of these Teximpress four piece PAR lights. These are basically stage lights that are meant for DJing or party lights, that sort of stuff. Comes in a pack of four. It has also a remote in for each of them. So, the, of course, this is an IR remote, it's just basically zap. But it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use. I'm going to go over this whole thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just using it to basically put a a wash of color to the my back curtains. My curtains are gray silver, which is cool. So I could do this for either uh, YouTubing and stuff, but this also will work well with DJing and stage lighting, which is nice. Now these are only 18 watts and I'll go over that in a little bit. But as you can see, you can actually control it with this remote by zapping it right at the where the lights are. There's a little IR sensor that's in front of it. Um, the battery that it needs is actually a 2025 cell battery. It doesn't come with it for each of the lights. There's like four remotes. But one remote can actually work for all four of them. Um, it uses, I actually shoved a 2032 in there and it works fine. Uh, here's the thing. The cord it uses AC power and it draws roughly around 6 to 10 watts of energy on regular modes. Um, even if you don't use it, it still uses about 6 watts. Now, powering this thing up, there are controls in the back. There are four buttons to change the modes and stuff and just cycle through it. And there's an up, down button and a menu button. And also there's DMX controls. As you can see, there's XLR connections in the back. I'm just using the solid color so I could get the pick between like the, the CC mode and then to a uh, different number on it. There's not many instructions on this thing, but overall it's pretty easy to figure out, especially the remote, you just press the different mode and then you, ch you add in the number to it and it changes it. Now there's a code sheet that it has, but to be honest, you should just write down what number you want and just put it in. Now this is just using a single color or just like a different mode. It only uses like half the power, like about nine watts of energy. And I'm using my, um, I wanted to do this like remotely, like let's say at a park or something, or maybe in a place where it doesn't have any energy. So I could put, use my battery generator here and just power it because this could hold it at full power. It uses 18 watts, as you can see. That's when they have 100% of the light and stuff and everything else like. So there is a 36 watt version of this, but this was the 18 watt version. It's too bad the packaging doesn't tell you much about it because if it said 18 watts, it should have just marked it. Like I said, the um, packaging isn't that good. The wiring only comes from about like a foot and a half, or maybe two feet of uh, wiring that's AC powered. And that's really about it. It's a good light setup, but you know, the only thing I have that I don't like about it is that, you know, the um, the build quality is okay. I mean, if you just bought this to put accent lighting like what I'm doing or just doing a party scene or an event thing, event lighting, this is fine. This is like, you know, whether you're throwing a quick party or a house party, it, this is pretty awesome for it, whether it's a little DJing and stuff. For me, for my YouTubing and stuff like that, this is perfect for just some background lighting and also some event lighting if I needed some for some events, but it gets the job done and has good value, which is nice. That's really about it. It is made of all plastic, so it's very lightweight to travel with, which is nice as well. And to set up is very simple. Anyways, guys, this is Dorian W. I hope this, you found this review helpful and useful. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.